Let's yeah. honor to the pastor, Elder Wilbert Austin, in his absence. Yeah. 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 Well, brothers and sisters, today's message is going to come from Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. Let us go to Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. And while you're finding that, I'm going to go in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne once again, not to do my will, not to be seen, not to preach my agenda, but to do, dear Father God, what you have called me to do. Yeah. Father God, at this appointed time, I decrease the Father. I move out of your way. Heavenly Father, I should have your way. Dear Father God, and help me to preach your word and help your people, Father, that today they be hearers of your word and doers of your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Matthew chapter 10, starting at verse 22. And he, 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 and he shall be hated all men for my sake. But he that endures to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in the city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, you should not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. The disciples is not above the master nor the servant, it's above the Lord. I want to go back to verse number 22. And I was going to uh, pull the topic for the sermon today for my name's sake. Right. So maybe you can tell your neighbor for my name's sake. For my name's sake. Earlier, the youth, when he was reading the scripture, he said, Brother shall rise up against brother and father the child. And the children shall rise up against the parents and cause them to be put to death. Now we know this was written over 2,000 years ago. And look at 2017, every time you watch the news, there's things like this that are going on. But Jesus said, for my name's sake, I have a couple questions to ask you this morning. I kind of realize when somebody asks you a question, you have a habit of remembering the things that said or done. What did Jesus tell you to do? I just want you to take a minute. Don't tell nobody. Just think in your spirit. What did Jesus tell you to do? Then I want to ask you another question. What did Jesus tell you about salvation? The reason I ask that so many people say, Lord, if you save my soul, I'll serve you to the day I die. Now, that was called a throwback because the old saints used to say that. In other words, you're dedicated to the Lord. The other question I want to ask is, what did Jesus promise you? You see, because Jesus promised us all something. Well, this day of time, we're being persecuted. And the disciples, he getting ready, he getting the disciples ready to go out and to minister into this world. The world right now, my brothers and sisters, is so mixed up. All right. You don't know who to believe and what to believe because so much stuff is going wrong. It kind of reminded me when Cain killed Abel and God replaced Abel with another seed called Seth. And Seth was the righteous seed. Yeah. Now, now, we have righteous people in the building this morning. And we should study and read and meditate and quote our Bibles. Because what I want to let you know that trouble, it is on the way. Now I'm going to give you some evidence and I'll let you guys help me and tell me. I'm just giving you a couple of signs. When the people in the world that have not confessed Jesus Christ can join with people that are well-known gospel singers and make music together and think nothing is wrong with it, my brothers and sisters, there's a problem there. Yes, sir. When our movie stars and our actors and our singers can do things that contradict the word of God, and it just seems like, I may be wrong because we're not in every church, but it just seems like the body of Christ is ex 
accepting everything Amen. that comes on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. A lot of times, the Bible teaches us that a little leaven leavens the whole lot. Mm -hmm. They tell me, a little bit of sin ain't going to hurt nobody. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah. They even go as far as saying that there was a white lie. Yeah. It ain't like a real lie. It's like a yeah. half a lie. Yeah. But a lie is a lie. Yeah. Jesus said, for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. He says, have you forgotten that we was once saved? We're being robbed of our God, robbed of our language. We're losing our religion, our culture, our Jesus. And many of us, by the way we act, we've been losing our minds. Yeah. Yeah. We're losing our mind that Jesus gave us. Mm -hmm. He said, his mind is in Jesus Christ. Let this mind be in you. Yeah. Yeah. He said, for my name's sake. Right. Now, you just think with me for a while. And I don't want to say the people's names. I, I have two kids that's uh, uh, not old, and they listen to different kinds of music, and a lot of times when we try to tell them right from wrong or show them something, a lot of times the youth think that you're against them. Yes. yes. And you're not against them. Uh -huh. yes. A lot of times the youth think that you're judging them. Yes. And you're not trying to judge them. You're simply trying to give them a shortcut <coughs> to what you had already been. Yes. 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 It does us no good to say, don't listen to this rapper and that rapper and this rapper and that rapper. The only difference between the rappers and our singers, they weren't using curse words, but they were singing about the same thing. Amen. But I was once lost. Amen. But now I'm found. Yes, I was once blind. Yeah. But now I see. Yes, sir. For his sake, we have to stand up for the gospel. Yeah. This day and time, my brothers and sisters, we don't know if we have a good president or a bad president. Well, right. It seems like every time you try to be positive and have a little hope, yeah. next thing you know, something is done that should not have been done. Yeah. The devil comes to steal, kill, and devour. Yeah. One of the crafty devices of the devil is racism. Yes. He's using racism. He's stirring up racism. He's stirring up people to hate each other that shouldn't even hate each other. Amen. I'm talking about Christian people that he's causing to hate each other. Christian people that, that say that they love one another. Uh -huh. But love is all they say. Amen. You don't see the actions. Amen. But Jesus said, for my name's sake, we have to remember why he called us. Yes. We got to remember why we are here. Yeah. And we got to remember that we are going to be persecuted for his sake. Yes. Now, I know, let me ask y'all a question. We're just regular people that's in the area, right? Yeah. We're regular people that's in the area. If something went wrong in the White House tomorrow, none of us have that type of clout that we could get on a bus or a plane tonight and go to Washington and tell them that we don't like what they say because they won't hear us. Yeah. We're just everyday people. When singers and entertainers are doing stuff that they're doing it and saying that God, let me put it this way, they're doing it and they say they represent the body of Christ. Yeah. It can't be because it might sound like God. Sometimes it may look like God. Sometimes it may feel like God. Mm -hmm. But there's no invitation God when we go, when we be led, when we're led by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you don't think it's going on, look at the gospel saints. And look at the people that are hanging around. Look at, you cannot be saved. And curse every day to my God still working on me. <laughs> because that's not the truth. All right. And what's very important for our youth is to please read your Bibles. Because a lot of times we get resistance from our youth. Some of them don't want to listen to what mama and daddy say. Right. And don't realize that we're trying to help them. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question right quick. Y'all remember 
Adam, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Adam was a powerful man. Uh -huh. yeah. But he was not spiritual. Right. Adam named all the animals that still today call by those names. Yes. Jesus didn't ask Adam to walk on the water. Yeah. Jesus didn't ask Adam to open up any blind eyes. Uh -huh. Jesus didn't ask Adam to turn water into wine. Uh -huh. Jesus didn't ask Adam to die on the cross and raise up in three days. He kept it simple for Adam. Yeah. And it's similar to our children. We're not asking our children to turn water into wine. We're not asking our children to open up blind eyes. But all we're asking our children is to what? Listen. That's the most powerful weapon that you can have is listening. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Man. Let me show you how powerful listening is. Jesus was a good listener. And Jesus listened to all the words that came out of his father's mouth. Yeah. And Jesus was obedient unto death. Jesus had a duty. He died for our sins. Yeah. How many people have children you have told to do the right thing, told to do the right thing, told to do the right thing, and they still fail? Well, yeah. Does that mean you don't love them? No. How many people are Christians have failed to do the right thing? Failed to do the right thing? Failed to do the right thing? But Jesus still loves them. Because you fail does not mean people don't love you. But the children, we're trying to save your steps. We're trying to keep you from the world. We're trying to keep you from the bad people. Amen. They got so much stuff that's going on now, yeah. especially with social media. There's traffickers and, and, and drug dealers. And, and you know the baddest thing is when you know the right way and don't do it. All right. In the book of James it says, to him that knows to do right and does it, is sin. Yeah. Now what happens to the average kid when they get in trouble? They say, well, nobody told me. And what happens to the average parent when they get in trouble? I told you so. Because if you love your kids, you tell them right from wrong. But this world, many of us are not fighting the way that we should. It says, yet our best trained, best educated, best equipped, best prepared ministers refuse to fight. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. Look at all of this stuff that's going on. And you got some of these preachers got jets, live on acres and acres of land. Some of these preachers could go to the White House anytime they want to and want nobody stand up when you see something wrong. We should have no gender problems in this day and time. But yet still, we got a lot of problems. Matter of fact, I got a question with a real church. Please stand up. Amen. 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 Yeah. Because we need it. Amen. A lot of our forefathers say we're in the last days. Amen. These are the last times. Uh -huh. And then as you grow up, I know some people say, well, we've been saying last days forever. <laughs> but he's coming back. Yes, he is. And when he comes back, he's coming back for a church with no spots, no wrinkles. It's kind of going to be like when you put your clothes in the cleaner. You get them out the cleaner, if they got a spot or a wrinkle, what do you do? You take it back. Amen. When Jesus come back for the church, if he got a spot Amen. or a wrinkle, Jesus going to say, go back. Because he's looking for a church Amen. that don't have no spots Amen. and no wrinkles. Amen. Amen. And James 1 and 12, he said, Blessed is the man that endures temptation. For when he's tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised them. That love. How many people love the Lord? Yes, yes, ma'am. How many people miss the mark every now and then? Man. How many people put their religion down every now and then? <laughs> How many people resist the truth every now and then? Man. Matter of fact, some people go far as saying the Bible didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Just to justify what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Just to justify what you love. Remember, people say that. I want to give honor to the Spirit of Christ. That's second in my life, third in my life, fourth in my life. What did the old school say? say? That's first, first 
-hmm. in my life. What does first mean? First mean before football. First mean before washing the car. First mean before going to the movie theaters. First mean before you play on your video game. First mean before you go see your cousin. First mean before you go to the park. First mean before you go to the football game. First mean before you hang out with your buddies. First mean before you watch your favorite TV program. First mean first. Not second, not third, not last. But we made a vow to God. We say, I'm going to give honor to the spirit of Christ that's first in my life. Did y'all mean that when y'all said that? I want to give honor to the spirit of Christ that's first in my life. Amen. But as Christians, we do our very best. Amen. But this world is going to persecute us. But Christ, but Jesus, but our Messiah, he promised us. That he'll never leave us, yes. and he'll never forsake us. Yes. All Jesus wants is a few good men to please stand up. Amen. And tell me that everything is going on, Amen. but Amen. the word of God. Amen. Amen. I remember when Jesus, you know, one thing I like about Jesus is that he's not going to tell you to do anything that he didn't do himself. Amen. Now, there are some things that it requires Jesus. When none of us are uh, spotless enough to die on the cross to save man from his sins. So sometimes Jesus says, I'll do myself. But Jesus is our leader. Yes. Jesus is the one that died for us. For his name's sake. Yes. You know, back in the day, when you did something wrong, your family, all depending on what it was, they'll do what they call disown you. Like back in the day, way back, you had yeah. went to the, uh, you was in church, you had a baby out of wedlock. Yes, you know? yes. And if you didn't try to do what the parents say, they would disown you because yeah. you're messing up their, their name. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at um, the preachers today that's preaching, I believe that a lot of preachers these days you will see on America's Most Wanted. <laughs> now, I, I can't believe that so many people are, are getting in trouble because of the ministry. And, and what, I, I, what, help, what happens to me is that it makes me feel bad every time I see a preacher fall. Yeah. Yeah. The devil comes to steal, kill, and devour. Yeah. A lot of us don't realize that we're in a war. Yeah. And this war started in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, when it said a woman's seed should be against the serpent's seed. The woman's seed should bruise the serpent's seed on the head. In other words, when man fell, when Adam messed up, and God had a plan of redemption, God had a ram in the bush, God said, I'm going to send my son named Jesus uh -huh. down to redeem man from his sin. How many people are truly redeemed today? Yeah. Let me say, I have, let me hear you say, I have been redeemed. How many people are saved this morning? Yeah. If you're saved, let me hear you say, I am saved. I am, saved. I am
when your children see you look at the phone and look at the caller ID and don't want to be bothered with who calling at that time and won't answer the phone. And see, we leave by an example. When the children see that we're speaking in tongues on Sunday and get out of church on Monday speaking in a different kind of tongue. It's all curse words. The children are watching that. Uh, when you say I love everybody and I just want to treat everybody right, and the children see you mistreat your neighbors and stuff, they got a mental, spiritual record. When you tell the children, don't listen to that kind of music, and you're listening to Rick James, uh, it makes the children say, well, I don't understand. They're saying, don't listen to this, but they're doing that. See, that's why we lead by I'm talking about for Jesus' sake. Amen. We're in a war, hey. my brothers and sisters. Yeah, yeah. And the church needs to stand up Amen. because it seems like we're losing this war. Amen. When the godly and the ungodly can go on a cruise and they say, what goes on the cruise, let it stay on the cruise. Right. My brothers and sisters, what goes on in Vegas, let it stay in Vegas. Yeah. You ain't got no business going to church in Vegas. <laughs> I'm talking about for his name's sake, so for Jesus' name, because of Jesus, we got to defend our Jesus. Think about it, our religion is the only religion that have a Holy Ghost. Some people want you to be a Muslim, but the Muslims didn't have a Savior that died on the cross. Some people want you to practice Judaism, but Judaism don't have a Jesus that they believe in that died on the cross for me. Amen. There's no denomination that had a Jesus that died on the cross for me. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, things are, are getting so bad that look at the children, the young children, the minority children, what they're getting arrested for, and, and people that's arresting them sometimes for no reason. I want to let you know that we're in the middle of a war, but Jesus said you're going to be persecuted, but he said, for my name's sake. Amen. Amen. You know, it's one thing if you get in trouble and you make the mess. <laughs> but when you do it for his name's sake, everything is going to be all right. Yes, yes, and yes. Jesus, I heard a young person read that scripture that said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. And if you bring my name before me, and I'll bring my name before my father. Man. But I don't know, we, we're just here today having just a little bit of church. Y'all tell me, don't it seem like people are ashamed of God? Amen. Don't it seem like people don't stand up for God Amen. like they used to? Amen. That's true. I was born in Bayless, Georgia, and I grew up in South Florida. And even when we was in South Florida, we was taught to, even when we walked through the graveyard, walk on the graveyard in a specific way because we respected people. Man. I don't know about y'all, but when I was a child, we was taught we don't play cards on Sunday. I was taught you don't even say curse words on Sunday, right? Because every now and then Christians let things slip out, right? I remember the days when you couldn't even find a place that sell bill on a Sunday. I remember when stores didn't even open on a Sunday. And now everything is like the city that never sleeps. My brothers and sisters, for Jesus' name's sake, Jesus needs some people that will stand up, stand in the schoolhouse, and stand in the church, and stand in the community and say, for God, I need you. And God, Amen. The Bible said that Satan is a rolling lion, seeking who he may desire. My brothers and sisters, this is a revelation I want to leave with you. Jesus, when he was supposed to die on the cross for us, when it was prophesied, the first prophet in the Bible is God. He prophesied in Exodus. He said, the earth was void, but he spoke and said, let there be light, yeah. where there was no light. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, let it be water, where there was no water. Yeah. God, our God, was a bad God. Yeah. Yeah. He spoke it. It yeah. happened. Yeah. You didn't have to look in the mail two weeks later. Yeah. Yeah. It happened. Yeah. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. We got too many people that want to do what he said and she said. Mm -hmm. We need to do more what God said. Yeah. 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 But
But Satan, the minute he heard that prophecy, tried to kill Jesus. Well, he tried to kill Jesus. When Cain killed Abel, it just looked like Abel was messed up and jacked up and couldn't get it right. Abel was mad because not Abel. Cain was mad because his offering to the Lord was rejected. Uh -huh. Let me hear y'all say that. Cain, Cain was, mad was mad because his offering, because his offering was, rejected. was rejected. See, that's why you don't come in church any kind of way. Amen. That's why you don't come in church in any type of frame. Why do we come to church? We come to church to worship God, yes. to give Him our very best. Yes. So if we don't have no money in our pocket, we can offer the fruits of our Amen. lips. If we don't have no money in our pocket, we can give God a hallelujah. Amen. If we don't have no money in our pocket, we can lift Him up to the word. Anyway, don't they call Him the Waymaker? Amen. You know anybody else that can make a way out of nowhere? For his name's 
sake, though, we have to teach. We have to show them. We have to pray for them. We have to lay hands on them. We have to intercede for them. Because the devil there's a roaring lion. Anybody ever see what a roaring lion sounds like on TV? A roaring lion. Not a nice kitten, but a roaring lion. Not a friendly lion, but a roaring lion. Seeking. See who he made devour. Now, Satan don't have no discrimination. Yeah. He wants you no matter what your last name is. Yeah. He wants you no matter what church you go to. Yeah. He wants you no matter what school you go to. He wants you whether you got Sprint, Metro, or Next Tech. Yeah. He wants you no matter what. Yeah. And he used crafty devices to come after yes. the church. Yes. 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 Right now, my brothers and sisters, the devil is making fun of the church. Uh -huh. When people can call themselves praise dancing and dirty dancing uh -huh. in the church. Uh -huh. Ain't talking about praise dancing. Uh -huh. I know what real praise yeah. dancing is. Right. But they're doing dirty dancing okay. in the church. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a video with deaconesses sitting there. They was doing dirty dances. And they were showing stuff that they should not show. Yeah. And you don't look at it for that. But it is what it is. Because yeah. that's what was on there. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, everybody trying to dress themselves up and take pictures on Facebook <laughs> instead of spend more face time with God. Yeah. 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 Everybody's trying to do preach, preach. videos. Think about how many people you see preaching on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter <laughs> and the world still in the condition. Yeah. Yeah. Think about every church, every preacher you see and it's saying, it's the way, come to this church, do yeah. this. This is the way of salvation. And yeah, that's still in the, and we got so many people that are still falling off. Amen. But Jesus, for his name's sake, yeah. Jesus. So Jesus came down through 42 generations. Yeah. And when he came, he had enemies against him. When he came, he came to die. Yeah. For his own name's sake. He came that we may have life and that we may have life more abundantly. Yes. We don't need it to finance. We need more abundance. Yes. We don't need partial healing, but we need more abundance. And I want to share something with you. You talking about true unity? True unity when every child of God, man, woman, children, can get together on one accord. Yes. Then we got some power. Yeah. Then they can sing that song over the time. Yeah. When all God's children get together. Yeah. And see, the youth got to be on one accord for the adults. Let me share this with you. How powerful would that be when the youth and the older people get together? Yeah. How powerful would that be? Yeah. How powerful would that be? Yeah. How powerful would that be? Yeah. I'm going to just use him as an example. Yes, Strong youth. Yeah. Yes, sir. You know, when we get older, we can't do the things we used to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I'm going to use this gentleman right yeah. here. Smart man. Yeah. So when you get a smart man and a strong man together yes, sir. in unity. Amen. In other words, when you get the youth mm -hmm. and you get the wisdom mm -hmm. together Amen. in unity, yes, sir. then yes. the body of Christ can say no weapon Amen. Then the body of Christ can say, Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Yes. My brothers and sisters, we got to fight. Yes. We got to fight. The battle is not ours, yes. but the fight is. Yes. That's why God says, Suit up in the full armor that you may withstand the wiles of the devil. Yes. See, the devil is tricky. Yes. He's conniving. He real slick. Yes. He try to sneak in the grass and slip around. Yes. He come through many different crafty devices. Yes. The devil try to cause division even in the church. Yes. And that's why the Bible say that if you if the church fight against itself, they will fall. Yes. But my brothers and sisters, we have to get tired and sick and tired of what's going on. And it's going to start member by member, church by church. Now, I don't know. Let me just ask a question. Am I the only one that see all this stuff that's happening? No. 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 We 
you got presidents that you don't even know. Do they realize what job they have? Yeah. 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 We got preachers living on resorts. Yeah. Yeah. And all people in the church have got to pay their tithes. That's not the way for God. That's not for God's sake. We got children that have things so mixed up. You can't be saying a gospel in church and saying a rap at home. Because you're mixing it up. The one thing I want to leave you with you is whoever you represent is whoever you represent. Now we learned this the hard way. How many family you people in the house today? So y'all represent University of Miami, right? <laughs> so y'all don't y'all don't represent the University of Miami? Because why? Because you can't love two masters. So you represent fam you. And y'all can say, preacher, make no mistake about it. You represent fam you. Right. This, 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 is a, this is a revelation I want to leave with you. You represent the rappers, right? You die hard, right? When everybody see you, if, they, if it's an event and it has something to do with rappers, you're going to be representing with your own shirt on, right? Everybody's going to know that you're a rapper. As a matter of fact, they're going to know what year you graduated, right? Everybody's going to know that you're a rapper, right? Let me hear you say, everybody know I'm a rapper. Right? Everybody, let me hear you say, everybody know I'm a rapper. Okay, let me show you how important that is. You, rapper, you represent the rappers, right? Not the University of Miami, right? right. As a matter of fact, when I'm looking at your Rattler uniform, I don't see nothing that has something to do with University of Miami, right? right. Not right. no color, not no nothing, right? Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing. I, I shouldn't get that mixed up. I mean, you got orange shirt, orange shoes, green hat. You all get down right. as a fam you represent. Right? As a matter of fact, when another fam you represent to see you is. No mistake about it. It's, you're representing fam. You is. There's no way that I could get that mixed up. There's no way that I could misinterpret that. There's no way that I could call the wrong school because everybody know them rappers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, fam. Let's go spiritual. We represent the body of Christ. Yeah. Everybody know we represent the body of Christ. Yeah. The way we walk, the way we talk, the way we say, the way we pray, the way we don't curse, the way we love. Everybody know, let me hear you say, everybody know, we represent the body of Christ. So if we represent the body of Christ, the body of Christ has no reason mixing with the world. See that? The body of Christ has no reason mixing with the world. You should not be dressed up in a three-piece suit going to church and acting like the world. Amen. You should be saying amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wrench like me. And then start singing that other music. In other words, we're mixing people up. In other words, we're confusing people. Yeah. Because we represent fam you, right? Yeah. Because we represent the body of Christ, right? Yeah. Because we represent Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. Because we represent the Messiah, right? Yeah. Because we represent the one that came from the tribe of Judah, that came down through 42 generations. We represent the one that died on the cross, yeah. on the cross for three days. We represent the one that rose up early on the third day with all power. Yeah. We represent the one that's sitting on the right hand side of the most high God. Yeah. Yeah. There shouldn't be no mistake about it. Yeah. 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 If there's no mistake about it, gospel singers have no business singing with singers of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Christian people have no business hanging around with people of the world. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to stand up and we have to resist that and we have to fight that. That don't mean that you got to go down to City Hall and have a fist fight. <laughs> that don't mean that you have to have a riot that's in this church. <laughs> that all it means is simply dropping some knowledge to some of the young people. <laughs> Let me say this, I'm going to sit down. Y'all remember a couple years ago, there was a man that was racist, 
them want no minority people wearing their sneakers? Yes. All right, we ain't got to call the name, but y'all know that, right? Yeah. And it made people like us mad, and we're going to wear the man's sneakers even though they, he said he don't want us. Okay. 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 Yeah. You see that? Yeah. All right, that's the same type of attitude we should have for Jesus. Okay. We should make the devil mad. We're going to love each other no matter what the devil say. We're going to watch out for our children no matter what the devil say. You want to know why? Do you really know what make little sinners? Do you really know what make teenage sinners? Do you know what make young adult sinners? Grown sinners. Yeah. Sinners have sinners. Yeah. But when we get saved, yeah. when we get born again, born again, when we get washed in the blood of the Lamb, yes. then it's our job to lead our children to Christ. Yeah. It's our job to teach them how to pray. When we was young, there was a commercial, a drug commercial, say, just say no. That's what we got to teach our children, just say no. And children, you got to level with your parents so that they will know what you're going through. Because when y'all get around the bad people, the bad people got a lot of game. Especially the young girls, they're going to try to tell them stuff that is not true. They're over-exaggerating just to get on their good side to lead them. Into sin. Yeah. And we got to tell our boys right from up. It's getting so bad now, you don't even have to teach your children how to get stopped by the police. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be running your mouth. Just do the right thing. Just do what mama say. Just do what granddad say. Uncle, whatever male you have in your life or whatever female that you have in your life that's telling you right from wrong, please listen. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's going to save your life. Yeah. For his name's sake. Yeah. It's why we do what we do. Yeah. And I thank good, I thank God Almighty, the one that woke us up. Amen. Now we don't not post here on earth. Yeah. And I was watching uh, it was an old picture uh, when they had those old-fashioned wars when the British was fighting against America. Mm -hmm. And Paul Reville, y'all remember Paul Reville, most of the old people remember Paul Reville comes and he was riding on a horse and he was riding to warn the people that the British are coming. Mm -hmm. But that's okay, I know another man that's in the book of Revelation that's yeah. coming back come on, yeah. on a white stag. Right. And when he come back on that white stag, he's coming back for his namesake. Yeah. I want to let you know, living in this world as a Christian is not in vain. Remember Star Trek when they say, beam me up, Scott. <laughs> I just want to let you know that there's a time coming that God, he's coming back for us. Yes. I want to let you know that when you get persecuted, it's not in vain. When you stand up for his namesake, it's not in vain. As a matter of fact, if there's somebody that needs something from God right now, if you don't mind, let's just take a minute to worship him up. Let's just take a minute to give him a praise. Let's just take And I sit down for real. Y'all remember when we was younger and your parents say, if you be good, I was going to give you this or yeah. give you that or yeah, buy you this absolutely. or buy you that. Yeah. Now we old school, we yeah. listened, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. We marked calendars, didn't we? Yeah. We watched the clock, didn't we? Yeah. And we reminded them, it's getting close to what you say you're going to give me. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I did everything that's right. that you told me to do. Yeah, that's right. But there was a time that a trumpet going to blow. All right. And all the Christians going to say, Jesus, I've done everything yeah. right, that you told me yeah. to do. Uh -huh. You told me to love my neighbor. Uh -huh. And I did that. Yeah. You told me to give you the praises. Yes, and I did that. Yeah. Yeah. You told me to be faithful unto them. Yeah. And I did that. Yeah. You told me that you would never forsake me. And I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. You told me no weapon formed against me shall come. Yeah. And I believe that. Yeah. You told me that you would never forsake me. And I believe that. Yeah. And I believe that. 
Yeah.